Euro dollar, 125 by the weekend, possible, feasible? Entirely. Uh, likely, a secondary question. Uh, I think uh, we will see uh, a move even further lower than, uh, than we are trading presently. 125 will depend strictly on what we hear out of Mario Draghi on Thursday. And I think he's going to be hard pressed to talk down the euro constructively any further than he's managed to do thus far. As for Mario Draghi's next move, well, the ECB president doesn't exactly have a full arsenal. I think ultimately he's left with uh, only one option, and that's to give a bit more clarity as to the ABS purchases and what that's going to look like. Uh, in real terms, unless he is prepared to announce outright QE, be it at this meeting or the next, he's going to have to most likely take on poorer quality collateral onto the ECB balance sheet to really make the ABS uh, program work uh, and thus reassure the market of the fact that they are serious by way of you know, expansionary monetary policy. Uh, as it stands right now, he's going to have a hard time arguing uh, the quality of the collateral simply because it's not entirely up to him to dictate what sort of quality he takes onto the balance sheet presently. Big fall in euro dollar this Tuesday, not least after the latest eurozone inflation figures. But is that pair the only game in town? Of course not. We've seen uh, dollar strength against the likes of the yen, the sterling, certainly the Aussie and to a degree the Canadian dollar. Um, faltering commodity prices and, and lows you know, on, on that side of the spectrum have obviously helped the likes of the Aussie and certainly the Kiwi lower. Uh, central bankers intervening and or jawboning have helped further help that cause. So what we're currently seeing is obviously dollar strength, a general unwind in carry trades uh, and some fairly horrible price action in emerging markets on the currency side of things as well. So it's a case of whether you believe the dollar story for what it's worth and whether you genuinely believe that there is protracted upside to continue from, from current levels in terms of that dollar and what the consequences are for other crosses.